Hello and welcome to the section 4 information gathering. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about how to use net discover tool for gathering information. Then we will use nmap tool as well as sparta tool for scanning ports. And we will also use multigo tool to gather information about various kind of systems. So let's start with the first video of section 4 using net discover tool. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. First of all what is net discover and then how we can gather information using net discover inside Kali Linux that we are going to cover here in this video. So what you need to do here you need to open up Kali Linux operating system inside VMware workstation and then I'm going to show you how to use net discover. So guys I'm here at Kali Linux operating system and here I'm going to show you that how you can use net discover tool for information gathering using Kali Linux operating system. So first of all let me show you where it is. If you can click on applications. Inside information gathering you can find out net discover right here. So you can click here. So this is net discover. So this is the use of net discover that how you can use this. These all are the options available here or you can say filters available here right. So for example first of all dash i device. Right, it will provide you information about your network device dash i filter or dash i option. The most important options are these two for us for information gathering dash r and dash l. Right, so what dash r provides information? It provides information about range. Right, you can provide a network range here, and by using that range, we can find out the machines available inside your network, the live machines available inside your network. So, scan given range instead of auto scan so we are not doing auto scan we are providing it a range and you can provide it like this right dash l option is also available here so dash l is for file right scan the list of ranges containing into a file for example if you have a file right you have all the ranges written there you can also provide that file directly to net discover so that it can gather information about the machines inside your network right you don't need to type inside the command just give it a file name which contains the IP addresses and it will scan the network and provide you the system information right other options are also available right but we are only going to use these kind of options because we are performing information gathering so we are going to find out IP addresses which are live inside your network and information about MAC address and vendor etc so let me start with the auto scan command of net discover so you can click terminal open it so how to perform auto scan inside net discover to find out the ip addresses running inside your network quite simple first of all you can type ifconfig so you can see here that this is my adapter right ets0 it's zero and this is my IP address, right? You can see the range 192.168.0.8. So now to perform auto scan inside net discover, what you can do, you can type net discover space dash i interface. And if you want to check on my interface, how many systems are working. So you can use the interface name here, which is ETS zero, right? If it is WLAN 0, then you can type WLAN 0 and hit enter. So here it is taking automatically the IP addresses. It is scanning inside my network that how many IP addresses are running inside my network. As I am using my home router, so you can see here that there is hardly a system live inside my network, right? It will not count your Kali Linux IP address, right? Because you are using your system, so obviously it is live. So it will only show you how many other systems are live right so there are three systems and basically one of them is router right this is my main operating system and it is not showing Kali Linux because you are working on them so there are three systems available inside my network inside my home network so this is basically dot one is gateway or router right this is the MAC address of my router and this is the vendor so I have a D-Link one more system is connected inside my network which is this looks like the phone 
of Samsung. So this is IP address which is provided by the Microsoft. It is my main operating system and it looks like a Samsung phone connected inside my network recently. Right, so this is the IP address of that phone. This is the MAC address and this is the vendor name. So there are four systems available, right? One is my Kali Linux, which is not listed here, right? One is a phone, Samsung. This is my main operating system, Windows 10. And this is the router, the link router is also available here. So that's how you can find out that how many systems are live inside your network using auto scanning of NetDiscover. Now, next is how you can manually provide the range of IP addresses inside NetDiscover. So that I'm going to show you here. So you can type control C to clear it and you can type clear also. So to provide a range, you can type dash R option here. So you can type here NetDiscover dash R. You know where this kind of information is very important in which phase it is important in when you are performing network pen testing. So in network pen testing, first of all, you need to find out that how many IP addresses are live. So NetDiscover can help you, right? You don't need to use any Windows tool or anything, any other GUI tool. NetDiscover is a command line tool and it is providing you the best results. Now, this is about range. So you can provide a range also. So for example, I'm providing my network range slash 24 right and hit enter it will again provide you the same results because i have provided you i have provided net discover exactly the same kind of range so you can see here that now there are only two machines connected one is basically the router and second one is my main windows 10 operating system there are only two hosts available inside my network now you can also provide IP addresses via a file, right? So you can type control C, you can type clear, hit enter, and you can minimize it first of all. Let me open a leaf pad file here. Inside this leaf pad file, let me type the range of IP address, for example, 192.168.0.0 slash 24, right? You can save it anywhere, for example, inside root with the name ip.txt click save and we have saved it now you can close it so we have created a file and we have typed the range of my network now you can again open the terminal and here you can type for file otherwise you can also type net discover dash h take help so to scan from a file you can provide the option dash small l right and it will scan the list of ranges contained into a given file so you can close it and here you can type net discover dash i or dash l small l and the file which we have created inside root ip dot txt right so the command looks correct hit enter and it will also take the ip address from that list right and it will provide you right here right so you can see here that now it is providing information about uh, the systems connected so as i already told you that this is my router this is my main operating system and one more i think these two are the mobile phones right one is basically Apple phone and second one is a Samsung phone is connected inside my network. So there are five systems available inside my network, right? One is router, one is my main operating system, two are the mobile phones and one is my Kali Linux which is not connected with this. NetDiscover is not showing you right here because we are working on our system so obviously it is live. So these five systems are live inside my network. Now I have provided you information that how you can gather information about IP addresses using auto scan, using manual scan and also using a file to gather information about the live IP address inside your network. So this is all about information gathering using NetDiscover tool and it will help you inside network pen testing.